Yo. This game is too beautiful, dude. Look at this. Six years? Are you kidding me? What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the stream. We are on Forza Horizon 2 for the first time in a very long time. Oh my, I can't even remember the last time we streamed this game. I really can't. Yo, I'm not, yo, I'm not gonna lie with you. Oh crap, you can't even pull up. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna take a photo of that guy because we got the Horizon promo going on here. I didn't even realize you can't hit up on the D-pad though because, you know, this is just a six-year-old game here. But goodness gracious, dude. Yo, Forza has always been ahead of its time. Are you kidding me? Horizon 1, an amazing game. What's up, Gideon? What's up, Logan? What's up, Carlos? What's up, Dodge Viper? What's up, Alex? What's up, JJ? What is up, Barry? What is up, Ben? What is up, Z? What is up, Isaac? Welcome. Oh, welcome, everybody. Damn, yo, come on. I was driving so good there, too. That traffic car just had to be there. So, fun fact about Horizon 2. This is actually a game that I did not get at launch. The only Horizon game that I have not gotten at launch. The only Horizon game that I have not 100% complete. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that, because Horizon 4, I don't think I 100% completed, but Horizon 1 and Horizon 3, I mean, we destroyed them. Horizon 4 is still the newest game. We pretty much 100% that game, but this one I never did. So today, we're going to continue playing a little bit more. It's been way too long, though. Um, the good thing is, hopefully I can actually show it here, because I definitely want to be able to show what I'm talking about, so you guys can see. I'm assuming that would be like... Yeah, here it is. Forza Hub. So the good thing about me playing this game is it's actually going to be extremely productive for me because I'm 100% on Horizon 1 and Horizon 3 and Horizon 4 in terms of Forza Hub and being able to rank up my points and everything like that. So if you guys don't use this, you totally should. I try and talk about this whenever I think of it because the higher the tier, the more credits you get per week. They come right here. You literally just go here, click on this, and you guys will get free credits in each of the Forza games every single time. Now, uh, I don't know... I think this is where I need to go. Yeah, okay, so we need 394 points to get us to tier tw or tier 11. Now, you can see here, though, Horizon 4, 100% complete. The one that took the longest here was, where is that? I don't even see it. Uh, Car Mastery is completed, 400 out of 400. That one took forever for some reason. Motorsport 7, I still need to go back and buy this game because I, I definitely want to rank up this tier as much as I can, too, but... Horizon 3, 100% complete, you guys already know. I've never played Motorsport Apex, but you know what the funny thing is about this? You can get tier from it, and I could literally just get this game on my PC now. Like, I didn't even think of it till more recently. This is a PC-only Forza, basically a PC version of Motorsport 6. So, it's something I might consider doing. Uh, Motorsport 6, I do have the game. We got to go back and complete a lot of that. But here's Horizon 2. Now, a lot of it's complete. We're close. But Gamer Score, Days Played, Miles Driven driver level perks owned we still got to keep ranking up all that stuff to get us more tier points uh let's see what else we got forza motorsport 5 i do have the game we have a lot to do there i don't think i'll ever be able to get fast and furious horizon 2 because i'm pretty sure they delisted it kind of like they recently just did with for horizon 3 the game and all its dlc and i might be able to get like a code somewhere but i don't really want just an expansion type thing that's kind of a waste of money in my opinion oh whoa Wow, okay, I was wrong. Forza Horizon, we did not 100% in the Forza Hub. So, gamer score, apparently, I didn't finish. I need one more perfect pass. And then the 1,000 Club Challenges. That was actually part of DLC, which I do have that, though. So, I, I guess sometime we're going to have to go and complete those things. Uh, Motorsport 4. I did play this a lot back in the day. It looks like the only thing I didn't complete, surprisingly, gamer score. So, there we go. Yeah, I've been playing since Motorsport 4, man. Motorsport 3, same type of thing. Uh, apparently, I didn't play as much Motorsport 3 as 4, though. 4 and 3 were both very good. We're definitely going to have to go back and look at these games sometime, too. Motorsport 2, just gamer score. that's it. So that's an easy 500 points. Uh, I actually have this game. I'm going to have to show you guys sometime, too. It's a pretty cool story behind it, actually. It's a very simple, short story, but it's pretty cool still. And that's it. Forza Motorsport, the original, is not even part of this. So, I mean, there's a lot that I can get done here. Um, I want to try and get this all 100% and rank up as much as possible. We have plenty of time until a new Forza game is going to come out, it looks like, too. So keep that in mind, guys. Every time you come here, though, you'll get free credits every single week. But this game, man, it's great. So we got our perks here. I mean, Horizon 3 certainly went a little bit further with this, but we're close. We just have a couple more that we need to unlock. So this one's two points. That one's five. So we'll be able to complete that portion very shortly. The bucket list challenges. I mean, there's a lot here. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot there's like the Porsche expansion. I don't have this either. I don't have this either. We can never get it. But what's up, Adam? Welcome to the stream. And Theo, I actually don't have body armor with me. I just drank some more of that raspberry or no cranberry raspberry juice and it's kind of sugary i guess you could say so <laughs> i didn't want to have any more sugar i just got a cup of water here with me in my eagles little cup though i got a nice beautiful eagles cup even though the eagles suck so far this year but uh to further go about the uh oh so this is oh okay so i didn't even realize that was there but that's really cool look so in the new game they don't have this a little forza rewards tab for forza hub to make it easier quicker to get to and all that what's up gc what's up chef but what I was talking about with the Forza Rewards, so we got our daily payouts that everybody gets, but look at all the gifted money. This is all from the Forza Hub that we just looked at and just talked about. Look at this. I mean, I have 27 million in this game. I promise you most of that's the last time I played, I probably downloaded all these gifts. Look at all this. Look at it. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Well, there it all is. So we have 300,000 credits per message here. So we're going to download all these so I don't forget because I'm never going to do this any other time. But uh, the good news is we're going to be able to buy some cool cars that we don't have already too to play with. So basically this stream, I'm going to play through single player because I want to continue to actually complete some of the Forza Hub like we just looked at. But at the end of the stream, towards the end, we're going to be streaming a couple hours, like two, three hours, something like that. We are certainly, obviously, going to get together and uh, play a little Horizon 2 online. Absolutely, Eric. Absolutely. But I have the full game. I just don't have some of the DLCs and everything. But, I, you know, if I really want to get them, I definitely could. It's all good, though, Reaper. It's all good. Welcome back. But mistake. You a mistake? <laughs> nah. <laughs> don't worry, man. It happens to everybody. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm like, I watch my videos a couple times as I'm editing and stuff. And then the last time I watch, I realize I said, like, the wrong date or something. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to re-record my entire commentary. I mean, we'll just put a quick little, like note there like not i think recently that happened actually i said like the 24th and i changed it like not nah, the 24th not the 22nd or something like that but uh that's right dj we got another stream going horizon 2 you guys got to start being more aware of these streams i mean this one's been scheduled for a few days but uh probably like at least an hour i i'm gonna say i want to progress through this stuff as much as possible i got to take a look at the cars we have i i'm telling you i don't i haven't played this game a lot still like i just play this once in a while and the story behind this was though so Horizon 1, bought it right when it came out, played it all the time. Thing was, though, after Horizon 1, and that was, you know, I was also into Need for Speed before that, that was when I got into Call of Duty. I was playing Call of Duty, like, nonstop since, like, I, whenever Modern Warfare 2 came out. So not right when it came out, but shortly after. And, yeah, the highways are amazing on this game. But exactly, Max, exactly. So that's why I'm, you know, not tonight, at least, going to be able to get the DLCs. I'm sure I can find code somewhere to get them but you know they're not in the store anymore but after you know all those years of call of duty i decided to try horizon 2 i saw it i was like you know what uh this looks like a cool game i used to love horizon 1 so i gave it a try little did i know that horizon 3 was coming out like a month later and i loved horizon 2 and i played it for that kind of short amount of time never really got too far with it though because i still played call of duty and then obviously i knew horizon 3 was coming out soon and I started my channel then, though, right before Horizon 3 came out, I was doing, like, Call of Duty. Like, Advanced Warfare was right at the end, right when Black Ops 3 came out. And then Horizon 3 released, and that pretty much just grabbed my heart. That I'll tell you, man, the game in Australia was so good. Uh, and a lot of you seem to think that the Horizon 3 map was even better than Horizon 2. I actually disagree. I feel like this was just the most immersive and just, just the most open and free map there was man all the highways and everything i don't know i don't know i, re I really think that horizon 2 might have been better in terms of the map but i feel like a lot of people that watch me also never even played horizon 2 like there's tons of people that watch horizon 4 that never even you know played horizon 3 so i'd imagine a lot of the people that watched me during horizon 3 didn't even play horizon 2 i mean some people did obviously but there we go. So we just went from 27 million to 39 million. That was 12 million credits just sitting there just for me claiming Forza Hub over the past year or two probably that I haven't even played this game. So that is why you guys should use the Forza Hub. I mean, not everyone's going to be as high of a level, but you can see overall completion 23%. So we got to see though, I don't even know what, you know, events we have and everything. Uh, so we do have Storm Island. I did get that. You guys got to remember back in like 2018, Horizon 2, this game was actually free. That's how I have it digitally. 
That's how I got Storm Island. Because uh, that was, you know, two years ago, this game... Today is six years for Horizon 2, so two years ago when it was free, that was end of life, basically, which I didn't even honestly realize at the time. But I got the DLC cheap, I got this cheap. Uh, I actually don't even know. Where is... Where's our next spot that we got to go to? <laughs> See, I don't even know this game well. I thought we should have some races still. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we do still have some races. They're over here. So that's where we're going to be headed. Of course, I was driving the wrong way. Ooh, it's raining out. Yo, the graphics, though, in this game. Look at this beautiful paint job I got from somebody, too. I've had this for a while, but man. Oh, God, what are you doing? Oof. Was I on the wrong side of the road again? <laughs> I mean, they were kind of on both sides of the road, but I'm going to do that a lot. I'm not going to be used to driving on the right. It's going to be real weird, man. Even though in real life I do it without even thinking. But in the video games, it's definitely a little bit different. Yeah, look at the rain on the ground. Dude, this looks so realistic right now. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Something else, man. Something else. And how often do you see me... Oh, I shouldn't have started braking, man. I didn't realize there was a speed trap there. But how often do you guys see me drive the McLaren P1? Oof. Bad turn there. The feel of this game is like... I don't even know how to compare it to Horizon 3 and 4. I feel like the sounds of this P1 are really, really good, though. Like, the sounds of this car are incredible. Like, when I first revved up the car, like, before I started the stream, I was like, whoa. <laughs> that is nice. That's another uh, poll I should make. What Forza game had the best sounding cars? One, two, three, or four. What's up, Fry? Welcome to the stream. Oh, what? You're telling me I have to drive a Subaru WRX? Oh, how painful. But yeah, Patrick, I mean, I like Horizon 4, but I don't think its map is as good as Horizon 3, and I don't think Horizon 3 was even good as Horizon 2, but Horizon 3 was up there. It was very good. It was very close to 2, but I don't know. There's something about just the amount of highways this game had. Like, Horizon 3 had a lot of nice open road, but Horizon 2, maybe just because I'm not, I haven't played this game as much. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like this a lot. And fam, no, I'm not using a different account. Why would I be using a different account? But uh, there is tuning, Reaper. It's, I, I don't, I didn't see your question, but I saw somebody else replying. Let me see if I can find your question real quick. Did it have tuning or nah? Yeah, definitely. It's still, it's pretty much all the same. I mean, nothing's really changed. I mean, I don't, I haven't tuned in this game at all, so I have no idea if the feels are different or the way of tuning is different, but yeah, it's basically all the same. But all right, we got the Subi. Yo, speaking of a Subi. Yo, all right, I need some opinions. And you guys can continue this conversation in Discord and we can talk with other people too while I'm thinking about it, but oh God. What the hell, why are they going so slow? <laughs> Okay, this thing sounds really, like, low and quiet compared to the P1, and also compared to, like, Horizon 3 and 4, honestly. Like, the Subarus in those games sound really good. But, okay, so here's the deal, guys. So I've owned three Subarus in my lifetime so far. The first one was a 2004 Blob Eye. It was a WRX. Oh, God, my, why does this thing feel weird, so weird? I'm, like, trying to get the feel for the car, but not sure how I feel about this Subaru right now. Again, I have not tuned in this game, like, at all, so. But anyways, I owned a 04 Blob Eye. Right now, we're driving in-game here. This is a Hawkeye. So this is, like, the 06, 07 model, even though they have it listed as an 05 in Forza games. I still don't understand that. But anyways, I also owned an 05 Blob Eye. Now, that was an Impreza. Not a WRX, just a base Impreza. Same body style, though. So both of those were automatic. Unfortunately, both of those were automatic. Now, at the time, honestly, those were like some of my first cars. I didn't even know how to drive manual at the time. Uh, the other car that I own, though, my last car, was something that we talked about, actually. You guys actually, we talked about it. I don't think I ever showed you. I'll have to show you guys a picture once I'm done this race. Uh, I do have pictures of it, but it was an 06. So the same car we're driving right now, a Hawkeye, but it was just a base Impreza, but it was a manual. It was a nice manual I found, a black-on-black 
Uh, I had it for a, not even a year, actually. I think I only had it for like 10 months. And honestly, I bought it to like really practice learning how to drive manual because I never owned a manual car before in my life. Like my family's never had one to pass down to me. And, you know, I didn't really have too many friends that had them to practice on either. So, you know, I never had like, you know, some people just have them in the family. Like easily that's like the first car they learn how to drive on. Unfortunately, I did not have that kind of same experience. But when I found that Subaru, man, I got a really good deal for it. And the thing was though, I listed it to sell it on Facebook Marketplace just to see if I could get anything close to what I bought it for, which I think was, hmm, what was it, like 6,000? I think it was like 6,000 that I paid for it or something like that. It only had 86,000 miles on it, really good shape. It had the head gaskets replaced. It had a lot of other gaskets and rubber components replaced. Got a head unit in it. It was tinted. Like, it was a really nice car. It's a clean, 100% bone stock Impreza. And... I loved it, man. I honestly loved it. But the thing was, like, I knew eventually other things were going to go. I saw some things leaking and stuff. So I figured, let me just list it. This is not a car I was planning on keeping long term. I actually ended up getting, I believe it was 6500 for the Subaru. But I also had wheels that I had owned from my 05 Blabai that I sold to someone, but not the wheels. I gave them the stock wheels and I kept my aftermarket. So I sold them the wheels too, though. So I got seven grand for the wheels and the car. So I actually basically made like a thousand by buying and selling the Subaru that I had for 10 months. It was a really clean interior too. The interior was like perfect. But um, yeah, so those were the three Subarus I've owned. And honestly, I've loved them, but I've kind of always wanted like a nice WRX. And the thing was, I didn't get to tell you guys the story about the blue one, the 04. Uh, so <laughs> that was when I first, okay, well, let's actually take it a step back behind that. So I hated Subarus. I used to hate Subarus. And reason being, man, so keep in mind, this is when I had my first IS300 when I first started driving. So I'm like 17, 18, you know, something like that. Like this is seven years ago or so. And to be honest with you, I hated Subarus because everywhere I went. Now, I was driving my 05 Lexus IS300. This was actually turboed as well. Uh, me and my dad, we got a turbo kit for it and it made 300 wheel horsepower. And I'll be honest, I used to drive fast all the time. Like, I used to drive pretty uh, pretty aggressively, pretty fast, especially on the highways and stuff like that. Like, I just used to love driving fast and stuff. But Subarus were everywhere, man. You saw them everywhere all the time, dude. And to me, it was just like, why would I ever... Why do other people even want to own these things? Like, they're just so common. Everybody has them. Like, why does so many people have these things? And... I didn't really know much about them, but I also thought they were ugly. Like, I didn't really like the body styles. I didn't really like the way they looked. And, again, just being so common, like, I liked having something unique, which my IS300, pretty unique. Like, not many people have them anymore. It's a pretty old car. They only made them 01 to 05, so we're talking, you know, 15, 20 years, 15, 20 years old or something like that. Oh, we got some rally racing here, though. So, I, I just, I did never thought that I would own a Subaru. Never. But then, somewhere along the way, the Blabai caught my eye the subaru blah by so we're talking the 04 05 body style and uh fam sat thanks for letting me know actually i always like to appear online i always forget that way people know i'm on and playing but anyways um it, it just caught my eye man the blah buys are actually beautiful cars they have the same taillights basically as this 06 07 that we're driving right now in the game but the front end's different it's got like the more circular headlights not the perfectly round ones like the bug eye which was from 0203 but the blah by oh god wait i'm gonna have to focus here a little bit because i don't even know what i'm doing these races are different to me man like i don't know that i don't know this game at all <laughs> let me just uh oh god you can take shortcuts and everything look at these guys okay i mean damn can we give stevio a break here like he's a noob i'm a noob out here <laughs> yeah i still remember the first time though that i missed a checkpoint in horizon 2 this was like right before Horizon 3 came out and I was like, dude, why are these checkpoints so dumb? Like I was used to games like Need for Speed and Midnight Club where you just got to be pretty close to the smoke and then you're good to go. Oh God, then you're good to go pretty much. Oof, oof. Oh my God, dude. Okay, I'm not ready for this. I ain't ready for the off-roading in Horizon 2. Oh my goodness, all right. I'm gonna have to finish this race first then we'll get back to our little story time about Subarus. <laughs> And we still have to get to the main point of this conversation, too. I took you on a little history lesson, but there's something, like, present in the now that I got to ask you guys and we got to talk about. Especially if you guys know stuff about Subarus. Oh, my gosh. Why? 
Yo, what is with these purple fields, dude? I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose this race, though. This is terrible. Damn, that one guy is way up there. Like, give me a break. I'm a scrub at this. Please, give me a break. Oh my gosh, we're going through the water? Oh, never mind, it's not really water. All right, we got a chance. We got to really finish here, though. We got to focus, boys. We got to focus. Do I have a chance? Do I have any type of chance to come back at the end here? I don't think so, man. I think I'm getting third place. I might have to T-bone these guys or something. Unless they really slow down. Oh, dude, what? How am I getting passed from behind right now? Oh, I'm going to fight. We're going to fight for the finish. Oh, come on, man. Damn, this Subaru is slow as hell, dude. I need to rebuild this thing. Look at this. I can't even catch these guys. Well, taking third place, I guess. I take my L's like a man. I don't restart. Oh, oh, he done it. He's done it. Look what's happened. Oh, sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look, we're still winning. We're still winning, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. But anyways, back to the story. So, the blob I caught my attention, though, I ended up loving it. So, by the way, though, we're looking at the Hawkeye. The 06, 07, that's what you guys are looking at. The blue one and the silver one. A nice Mitsubishi Evo back there, too. Cars you can really put good comparisons to. But I started looking around for a blob eye. My first ever Subaru was the 05 Impreza. Just the base Impreza. It was an automatic. It only had 48,000 miles. 48,000 and I was like, damn, I can't pass this up. It was like nine grand cash I think I paid for it or something. This was years ago, though, like years ago. But 48,000 miles, you know, when I saw that, I couldn't pass up on it no matter what. It was black on black. I will say, though, dude, I didn't know anything about the cars at the time. The head gaskets were blown, dude. Like, they were leaking. I, I had no idea. Like, again, I was very young at the time, like 17, 18. But luckily, this was at a Lexus dealership. Funny that it's at a Lexus dealership that I found this. Uh, out of state, actually, New Jersey. I live in Pennsylvania. They actually fixed them for me, though. They, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. At the time, I was working at Chevy. I was working at a Chevy dealership. And my buddy there, who was a mechanic, he looked at the car and told me that. So I called up Lexus, and they were like, oh, well, you know, you bought it as is. But then luckily, they were nice, and they were like, you know, we really screwed them over. So they actually sent me a check and paid for me to have them replaced at my dealership in Pennsylvania, which... To me, you know, that whole situation right there, I could have got screwed over. I should have been just because that's how dealerships are. But, um, you know, they actually were nice and they let me, you know, get the repair for free and everything, which really, really, really was good. Because otherwise, you know, if you guys know, that's like 1500 something like that. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> but, um, all right, so here's the next one. We're just going to cruise over there. But yeah, so I got that car that I cleaned it up, dude. The interior, again, was mint. The exterior was in, it was in good shape. I mean, there were some flaws and stuff like that. The rear bumper had, like, a crack in the corner because someone hit it. Uh, but overall, you know, it was clean. But I got bored of it. I got bored of it. It's slow, man. It's slow as hell. Like, slow as hell. Being automatic, it's a four-speed automatic transmission. It only makes, like, 150 horsepower, something like that. But it was a great first Subaru. And the reason I bought it, though, was because that Lexus IS300 I told you about, the 300 horsepower, the 300 rear wheel horsepower turbo IS300 that I had, it was really bad in the snow, guys. It was really bad in the snow. Turn right. But yeah, driving guide, the thing is with the naturally aspirated ones, they don't have very strong head gaskets on them, and they still leak like crazy. Like, the 06 that I had recently, they actually put either WRX or STI head gaskets on the base Impreza that I bought. So I knew I was going to be good for a long time. That's why I was like, damn, this is a really nice deal. Um, but anyways, yeah, so like I needed something for winter because we were at the time years back getting some pretty heavy snowstorms and stuff like that. More recently, though, we haven't been, which is why I sold my Subaru, too, because I didn't need it. Like I have my IS300 now, my Bone Stock Auburn Sky Pearl 1, but I literally did not need my my you know winter car anymore like i just there was no point in me having it and i was like i might as well list it and see if someone offers me enough and they did so i sold it but i eventually ended up selling that original subaru to a co-worker at target you guys know i used to work at target uh, i sold my car to a friend there she still has it as far as i know i mean it only had sixty-eight thousand, i think when i sold it so it's still very very cheap um and before we start this next race i just want to finish this so then Ended up eventually, though, finding 
the actually no wait a minute am i getting the timeline wrong i think i'm getting the timeline wrong this was so long ago i think i had i think i had my blue wrx first i think actually i actually had yeah i definitely had my blue wrx first and then that's why i got that base impreza because i just couldn't find like a nice wrx like okay yes <laughs> damn i messed up my store my own storyline i screwed it up but I think the reason was though because I didn't even like find that WRX. That wasn't even one that I searched for and I didn't even have it for a long time, dude. I literally had it like a couple months and then the rod shattered on me. Dude, the thing had 176,000 miles. It's a one owner blue WRX 04. Again, it was automatic though and I, I really didn't want it. I didn't even know they made automatic WRXs at the time to be honest with you. So I thought it was kind of cool though. Um, oh, what the hell dude? How does that slow you down so much? Damn, I got used to this game, but tell me this game is not gorgeous, dude. Look at this map. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, dude. It's so realistic, too, for like a 360 game, basically. It's so nice. I mean, they made a version of this game for 360 and Xbox One, but... Six years later, man, this game is aging well. Like, damn, son. But anyway, so I had the blue WRX for a couple months, and... Again, that was the blob eye, not the one we're driving right now. This is the Hawkeye, but... I... <laughs> I was doing a couple pulls on the highway. I was on my way home from New Jersey. I was coming back home to Pennsylvania on the highways, and, you know, I was just like, whatever. I have open lanes, these long, long straightaways that are just asking you to go fast. And me being, you know, again, younger, I did it all the time, man. I went fast all the time. And I, I think I went three times. I was just going, like, 60 and then just punched it and went up to, like, 100. The third time, man, all of a sudden there's no response in my gas pedal. The car is just slowing down. I pull over to the side of the road on the highway. I'm literally one mile away from my exit. I kid you not. I was with my ex-girlfriend, too, on the way home. I think I actually was picking her up from Jersey or bringing her back to my place or something like that. And, yo, know, I blew the rod, dude. I shattered it. The whole engine was completely screwed. And I couldn't believe it, but at the same time, again, at this point, I had like 185,000 miles. And me beating on it. I guess you could say beating on it. I don't really think that's beating on it going 60 to 100 here and there. But, uh, yeah, that, that thing only lasted me a couple months. I tried to tell my dad, too, because he was the one that found the car. I was like, uh, I, I don't know. It has way too many miles. He's like, no, nah, it'll be good. It'll run still good. And I'm like, I, I don't know. Like, it's a lot of miles. And, you know, of course, the people at Subaru were telling him, oh, it'll be good for a long time. So my dad was like, oh, yeah, you know. They took care of all the maintenance. They fixed it up. You know, it should be good. I'm like, uh. But I, I listened to him. I was like, all right, we'll give it a try. And there, there it went a couple months later. There it went. So I was like, damn, son. Damn, son. So there went that one. I started looking for the other Subaru, though. Then that took us to the black blob that I found. But like I said, I sold it, got bored of it, didn't need it anymore. Um, but then I started looking for him again because I just love the cars, you know. And I loved having my, you know, other cars that I had. But uh, the reason I had sold that Subaru was my dad had a 20... Oh, geez, I'm going to say a 2018, I think it was a 2018 Honda Elantra Sport, and he was leasing it, and he said, hey, if you want to pick up these payments, you can have this car for now. It's a really cool car. You guys, if you've been around my channel long enough, too, you guys definitely have seen pictures of it. I did post some of my community tab and showed you guys that car. It's only like 200 horsepower, um, but they're very light, front-wheel drive, really clean interiors, though. It, it was a fun car. It actually sounded good, too. They sounded good. Um... Ryzen, I actually do like them, but I don't like them as much as, like, the Blob Eye and the Hawkeye. I'm not as much into hatchbacks either, but I do like them. I do think their body styles are nice. I have looked at them sometimes, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'd like them as much. I mean, it is faster for sure. They make way more power. Way more power than, like, the, you know, 04, 05, even 06, 07 WRX. But I only want a WRX. I don't want an STI. I don't want the 300-some horsepower if I was to get one of these. Like, I just want the, you know... The middle of the line one. Not the really slow Impreza, but the also... Mm, I don't think they're rare at all, to be honest with you. I see them all the time. But, of course, I'm on the East Coast where people have them a lot. Um, but, yeah, I do like them, too. Maybe I should look into them as well. Um, but, yeah, here, let me actually... Let me show you guys real quick. Well, actually, this will be better if I do this. So, there's the front of the Hawkeye. Let me find you guys these pictures real quick. I just want to show you guys a picture because I don't think I ever showed you my Impreza. Have I ever showed you guys my Impreza? My room's always dark because I literally just have a very boring background right now. Uh, once I do move soon, 
not soon, I shouldn't say, but once I move out at the end of this lease, I'm definitely going to plan on getting a nice little office set up with a lot of cool background stuff. I almost picked up a little toy Lexus S300 today that I saw at Target. I was really thinking about it. Um, anyways, let me ask you guys a question, actually. What color is this? Tell me what color that is, people. You better answer correctly. I want to hear some correct answers. You guys can't even see that, can you? I don't even know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you're going to answer correctly. <laughs> oh, there, there goes one. <laughs> there goes two. Oh, there goes three. Oh, gee. Wow. You guys are all fired. You're literally all fired. <laughs> you're all fired. Where's my Trump memes? All right, hold on. Let me, let me find this picture real quick. This is actually a beautiful picture. I want to show you guys that quick. That is not red. <laughs> it is not red. I know it's blurry, guys. <laughs> Trust me, I know. But that, that was a beautiful shot I took of just the headlight of my car. I was like, damn, that's a, that was a nice picture. I don't, I don't, I'm not really taking a nice picture like that. This is going to take me some time to find this, but I need to show you guys this so you can see. So you can see. I'll find it eventually. Three days later. But this is the Subaru Hawkeye, the 0607, like I said. All right, we're getting closer. Three days. Actually, you know what? I'm doing this really stupidly. Doing this really stupidly. I'm going the wrong way. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. All right, we're close. We're close. I know we are. Yo, I still have the original picture of my eyes 300 though. When like, literally. I first saw it online, like the picture the guy had posted, but okay, I do want to show you this since we're kind of scrolling through here. Uh, I was talking about my original Lexus S300. This was literally the first car I ever drove. Now keep in mind, this is after I customized it, but that is my original Lexus S300 that my, my dad still has this. My dad still does have this. It's uh, 2005. It's all black, black on black leather interior. And again, that's the one that makes 300 wheel horsepower single turboed on the stock 2JZ GE beautiful car very loud car um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys that but here we go I found my Subaru well, I found some pictures I took for I found some of the pictures I took for my uh, when I sold it so I guess I can show you guys that real quick had a backup camera like I said the whole thing I'll show you the interior first but I really don't like some of these pictures um, that's the interior though but all right let me find I took some really nice pictures of my car back before I sold it so we're gonna have to find those real quick. I like how this turned into a. Uh... Oh, here's a nice winter shot. Here's a nice winter shot. So I think you guys should be able to see. Kind of in-game versus my real life one so i made my in-game one silver i've always kind of liked the silver but um I, that was a beautiful picture i took when it was snowing I, I love taking pictures of cars in the snow um but all right we gotta find yeah i might have pictures too oh i do i do have pictures of both yeah you guys gotta see this you guys gotta see this one this is a picture for the for the memories man my is my current is 300 that i still have Next to my old Subaru, my most recent Subaru that I owned. So that was pretty cool. When I had both of them, honestly. But hold on, I gotta find the really nice pictures that I had. Because I had really nice pictures. Where are they? Where are thou? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding all kinds of stuff going through these pictures, actually. But uh, let me show you guys the Elantra. Since we were talking about that, we came across it. This wasn't the best picture in the world, but it'll do. It'll do. There's the back end of it. Yo, don't make fun of my Elantra Sport Rising. I'm telling you, man, the car's actually kind of fun. If any of you guys like, um, if any of you guys like the, what are they called? My one buddy has one. I'm terrible at remembering the name. The Veloster. If anyone likes a Veloster, they're literally the same engine, dude. Like, they're literally the same engine. And now we went through some auto show cars. 
Wait, what? I missed it? Hold on. I, apparently, I missed the pictures because we went. I went back to like post. Oh wait, here's the interior actually, the Elantra. Here's why I love my Elantra Sport, man. Again, this was just my dad's lease. I just used it for some time. Now, older Elantras, I get it. Some of them are not that nice, but my Elantra that I had, I'm telling you, the 2018s, they were nice, dude. Now, the newest Elantras, I think, are not that nice again. They kind of ruined them, in my personal opinion, the way they redesigned them, but um, hold on. We're going we're gonna to find this Subaru. Oh, here they are. Jeez, how did I miss that? I literally, wow, they were right next to the pictures I took of the IS and the Subaru together, but... All right, so let me get you looking at it right in game, and then let me get you looking at it right, right there. Trying to get you guys the best angle. It's hard for me to tell sometimes exactly where the camera's showing it. But that was my Black Hawk eye. I'll show you guys a couple more angles of it. But yeah, so they're they're beautiful cars. But anyways, that gets us to kind of like where I'm at real time, I guess. You know, those were my three. Um, I didn't really have pictures too many of the blob eye, and I didn't have too many pictures of the... Uh, I actually don't have one single picture of the blue WRX. That's how long I had that car. I don't even have one single picture of it. Um, so it kind of sucks that I never got to take pictures of that car because it was really nice. It was the rally blue, like I said. But I actually found, I just happened to be looking last night. As some of you guys know, if you were talking to me on Discord, I, I just could not sleep last night. I just didn't want to go to sleep. I was up to like 2 in the morning. But I found two WRXs. Two WRXs. Now, there's a positive and a negative with the one, and then there's a positive and a negative with the other one. Um, the first one I found, it's an 05 WRX. It's a manual, black on black. It's got 77,000 miles. I think they want 13 grand for it. But it looks really clean. I think it's a one owner. It, it wasn't one accident. I think the rear bumper, but it's like really nice. I like it a lot. It's a blob eye, the 05 blob eye. Then the other one, though, is an 04. It only has 39,000 miles. I kid you not. 39,000 miles. The only negative, it's an automatic. It's silver on black, but it looks pristine, one owner, no accidents. And I'm like, which one do I go for? Or do I even go for one, though? That's the thing. Because I'm thinking about it like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they're really clean, and they're not that expensive. And I kind of would love to have a WRX again. Like, I really honestly would kind of love to have a WRX again. But I'm, like, torn, like, which one I should even pursue going after if I'm even to go after one. And they both have them. They both confirm they're still in stock. They have not sold them yet. So I'm thinking to myself, like... If I'm going to go for one of these, I got to go quick because there's no way they're going to be sitting there for too long. You know what I'm saying? So I need opinions, though. It's a good thing I thought of this. Yo, there was airborne pass skills in Horizon 2. I honestly didn't even realize that. There's another one. That should be another one, at least. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I didn't see the turn. I didn't see the turn, man. Yo, <laughs> that driving line was some cheese. Yo, get off me, bro. Yo, what kind of race is this? I'm about to lose. <laughs> man, we're going up steps and stuff. Are you kidding me? Yo, these off-road races in this game are wild, dude. Like, I love them, but they're wild. Yo, some- what? Oh my god, I almost just fell- yo. <laughs> I almost just fell off right there, that was insane. Yo, we're back in second. These are so open, like the layout of these, are, it's just so crazily open. I'm not used to it, dude. I'm not gonna lie though, these are fun. Yo, I hate those trash cans. Why are they so OP? The trash cans need to be nerfed. I mean, it makes sense that it would kind of do something to my car like what they're doing, but damn, son. Damn, son. Yo, so let me know your guys' opinions and ask me any questions you guys have, like when I'm actually paying attention to the chat, not while I'm racing, but... And again, continue into the Discord. Ask other people in the Discord. Why is there traffic? How is there traffic? <laughs> I thought there's no traffic in these ordered races. Yeah, I need to get first here, man. I, I gotta make sure I win this championship. This is too much, man. Yeah, I gotta get into the Horizon 2 more, man. This game's fun. I'm terrible at it, but it's fun. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, Forza? Are you serious? Yo, get out of here, dude. That is some cheese right there. 
That is just like, Stevio, you're taking an L. Again. Like, come on, are you serious? Like, wow. <laughs> they make the traffic car just turn at me like that. That was so rude of him. These checkpoints are so random. I want to catch this guy so bad, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Nope, I'm going to be in second. I'm going to be in second again. Unless he, like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at that slow little Evo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Damn, there's no horns in this game. What the hell? I was trying to beep. What are you effing me for, man? Come on. I got, I got, what do you mean? I got the W. <laughs> I got the W, bro. Damn, thank, thank God I did that. We only won by 10. That was interesting. We did a road race, and then we did two dirt races. All right, anyways. So Driving God says an auto will leave you something to be desired. You've owned a few manual sports cars. I've actually only owned one manual. Only one. That Subaru. Hey, I'm the champion! Ten more championships for the Horizon finale. Oh, boy. That's what I'm saying, Bob. Horizon 2 is incredible, dude. If you guys don't have this game, you gotta go pick this up. Like, you'll have to get the physical edition, but... Um... Horizon, that's, that's kind of like what I've been thinking about. That's the plan, because I am moving... And I want to get a garage. That's my big thing. I really want to get a garage, especially for the Lexus. Um, but the thing is, like, there's two perspectives. It's like, okay, Subarus like this, they don't come around that often, like, with low mileage. Of course, they are a little far away, so I'm going to have to travel just like I did for my S300. But at the same time, another one could pop up that's better than what I'm looking for. But I think it's, like, worth looking at these because, again, if they're, like, really good condition, I mean, they're not that expensive. Especially if I was to figure out a way, I don't know if I'd be able to or not, but if I could find a way to finance, they'd be hey really guys, cheap monthly payments. But they're so clean, trip. dude. They are so clean looking. And if they're actually as clean as they look like, I don't know, man. I could also always manual swap if I really needed to with the auto. But I was also thinking, too, like, it'd be cool someday. Like, I don't think it'll be able to happen right now, but I could get the auto WRX and then have a manual WRX so then I'll have one, like, casual car, and then I'll have the other one as, like, uh, you know, my fun spirited driving car, I guess you could say. Because I will be honest, there are times, like, when I had my manual Subaru, there would be days where I'd take out the Lexus if I didn't want to have to worry about, like, shifting and just I just wanted to cruise and that's it, because obviously in 01 to get my Auburn Sky Pearl color, there was not any manuals made in 2001. But then on days where I wanted to go drive and wanted to drive my manual, I had my Subaru there, you know what I'm saying? You have arrived at but I love the Blob. I think it's definitely my favorite. The Hawkeye grew in me a lot. And that's why I ended up getting that one that I found, but I don't know. And you're right, I mean... What's my price range? I mean, to be honest with you... <laughs> like... I don't know, like, pretty much around where these ones are at. Like, they're both listed for, like, between 10 and 15 or so. But for the mileage that they have and the condition that they're in... Oh, wait, no, I gotta... Hold on, let me change my car. Let's look at the other cars I have. I'm probably gonna get back in my P1, to be honest with you, because I love driving my P1. We got the Audi R8. We don't really have too many cars in this game. Got the Veyron. The 2012 Z01. That'd be nice to have back in Forza. The ZR1. The LaFerrari, one of my favorites from, original favorites from the Forza games, the 2003, 2003, 2003 Stradale. Um, we got the Venom, I remember driving that, that thing's wild though. We got the Huracan, the Venino, the Aventador, the Mercilajo. We got the GS350 F Sport. Is this going to ever end up in Horizon 4, I wonder? Team Forza P1, my P1. The SL65, the SLR, the 2005 SLR. That's the one, I feel like that's one that people have talked about a lot. That they're like, yo, where did that car go? We got Reaper's favorite right there. The Reaper special, but yeah, I'm going to get into my P1 again. That P1 is too much fun to drive in this game. But, I don't know, man, like... I just had to decide, do I want to wait 
and see if there's a nicer one out there at some point or if I just want to, you know. I'm also, I'm not even going to lie, I have been thinking about, well, I actually have taken offers for and I've been thinking about just seeing if someone will offer me enough for my Lexus. I'm not even kidding you guys because realistically, like with my new car and everything going on with that that I haven't told you guys about yet, which I definitely want to do as soon as I can. It's just about finding the time to do it. Very busy with stream ideas lately. My job, obviously, and then also, um, you know, life in general. But I definitely need to get around to making that because I know some of you guys would like to see something different. Some real life Stevio stuff. Oh, Reaper. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right, so we've been kind of balancing this out. So I guess we're just going to pick. Uh, well, I'll let you guys pick. So you got four options. Ma I don't even know how to say these. Montalino, St. Martin, Nice Messina, or Sisteron. Which one are we going to next? Which one are we going to next? Stevio Vlongs. <laughs> but I'll let you guys decide that. But... The only reason I've been thinking about though is I know that right now the Lexuses, like I've seen prices for IS 300s, they are really, really kind of uh, going up in value. Like they really are. And that's why I'm thinking to myself, like right now when my car has 78,000 miles and it's in the condition it's in, there's no leaks, the car's like perfect. I haven't even inspected it since March. I mean, it's been expired since March, but uh, you guys, of course, are all over the place. I think one of you guys said everything. One said Martin, one said Sisteron. Fry, you don't know how to listen to instructions. What's up, Virgil? Welcome back. And T-Boy09, thank you so much for subscribing. Really appreciate you, man. Welcome to the Stevio family. But, uh, all right, I think... I think... Uh, and Ryzen, that is the other thing. that I, I do go back and think about the motor and everything. But I also think about how my car is an automatic. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes when I'm driving it, I'm like... I don't know, it's just, there's something missing. There's something missing. I could manual swap it, but, you know, I love the color and everything, but everybody always calls it red, and that really pisses me off a lot, too, so. We'll go St. Martin. Champs made the call. We're heading to San Martin. Oh, am I going to have to buy a different car? I really don't want to. What other championships do we got? What other championships do we got? Iconic Rally. I mean, I've already done two out of three in supercars. I feel like I shouldn't go with that, but. Um, we'll go sports cars. And we will go, ooh, I think we'll go JDM icons, because I think, yep, I already do have my Skyline GTR, so we'll rock around in this a little bit. And Ryzen, that's what we did with the black one. I don't know if you're here and I saw the black ones. I already have a car like that in my family, so I don't want to do that. Like, I, that's the whole point. I wanted to keep my orange Auburn Sky Pro Lexus stock, but... I don't know, man. I got some decisions to make, but there is the other factor, like some of you mentioned about how I'm, you know, moving at the end of this, well, beginning of next year, I should say, by April, my lease is up, so I do got to figure that out first, because I don't know what my new expenses are going to be and everything. But I will tell you guys this, with my new job, I'm making a lot more money than I was when I was at Target, so I have a lot more options now. Damn, this skyline feels pretty nice. Is this guy cruising with me? Yeah, this guy's totally cruising with me right now. Skyline sounds good too, but nothing sounds like my P1, dude. Nothing sounds like the P1, like how loud that thing is. The Subaru is really toned down and quiet. This is a little bit on the quiet side. Doesn't sound bad though. Sounds pretty good. Of course I rear end them, of course. That's how it always goes when I play Forza. But wait, we gotta take a picture. We gotta take a picture. And Ryzen, you talking to Subaru or uh, Lexus? What's up, Toxic though? Welcome to the stream. You know, I never thought the Porsche expansion would be worth it, but now I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, I could have got the 918 in this game. Could have got the 918 in this game. But oh yeah, IS300s with big turbos, man, they're quick. They're not that heavy. I mean, they're heavier than certain cars. That's the other thing with the WRX, though. 
So compared to my IS, the WRX, I believe I looked last night the 05 WRX specs, uh, about 3,100 pounds, 227 horsepower, 217 torque. My IS 300 is about 3,350 in terms of weight, 3,350 3, 3, pounds. Uh, oh god, I forgot the trees in this game. But it only makes 215 horsepower and 218 torque. So uh, one more torque. And again, this is, you know, a 20-year-old car. So I'm sure some of those numbers have gone down a little bit. But 12 more horsepower and about 250 pounds lighter. I mean, the WRX definitely will be a lot quicker. Plus, it's all-wheel drive, obviously. And it's a few years newer. But at the same time, it doesn't have a 2J in it. So it's like, you know. That's what I'm saying, man. It's such a tough decision, but I honestly would love to just have both. But I don't know if I can make that happen in the current time frame. In a little while, maybe, you know? But that was actually, a, it's been my kind of, like, idea for a while to have a WRX and an IS300 to have both. It's the JDM Icons Championship. Always get a good crowd oh, man, we got to do... It's so interesting how they have championships, like, on all the different terrains and okay, everything. But it is what it is. It is what it is. What's up, FaZe John? <laughs> really, Adrian? You know, honestly, like, I don't have fast cars in this, so people used to literally just kind of, like, bring out their fastest cars to race against me, and I'm just sitting there using, like, my stock car, and I'm like, all right, dude, like, whatever. <laughs> just trying to have fun, but okay. <laughs> so, I paid 7400 for my S300, but between, like, uh, you know, just... Taxes, tags after that, of course, because the guy wrote it up for the amount that I paid for instead of nicely putting it for cheaper, which, you know, not supposed to, but that's what happened with all the other uh, private deals that I've done. And then also, um, you know, servicing, like maintenance, just things that need to be done. Like I did valve cover gaskets, spark plugs. I had to have my strut replaced, different things. Between everything, I think there's about 10 grand into my S300 that I've had for a year and a half, a year and a half now. Um, but I already have an offer for, well, okay. I have a random person's offer for 8,000. I have a personal friend who offered me 9,000. So I wouldn't be losing anything by selling it, but I'm trying honestly to get 10 or 11. And I know someone will pay that because of how rare that color is. But the thing is like, how long do I want to wait? You know, do I actually want to sell it? Like I, I only tested the waters. I didn't actually officially list it and say, Hey, I'm definitely selling this. I just said, I'm seeing what people are all for me and I might sell it but I don't know man it, it's just like I'm so back and forth and that's why I haven't made a move yet like I'm just very 50 50 like there's days where I'm like I don't need this I can easily live without it kind of like my Subaru I sold my Subaru my 06 manual because I knew that I didn't need it I knew that I could easily live without it and it's good I did because I ended up buying my new car that I have for my job but um I don't know I don't know I feel like I should move it because then I can use that money to move and take care of my whole living situation, you know, come April. And then after that, then I'll be good to go. Like, I still have my work car, my new work car, obviously. But then I'll be on the market for, you know, a WRX or, you know, who knows. Maybe there'll be another IS out there. There was actually a blue, like, 02 or 03 IS. Ooh, club tier 4. Wow. So the clubs were good in Horizon 2 and 3. I don't know what the hell happened in Horizon 4 where they ruined them. I did not be a, appreciate being pushed out just now either by these stupid drive it's ours so i'll throw that out there but that might be the best way to go but at the same time it's really hard to look at these ones that are sitting out there right now that look to be in such good condition because again like you can find cars with low mileage but just because they're in low mileage like i'm someone that's looked for used low mileage cars a lot so i've realized how many are out there that you think would be such such nice cars and in really good condition but then you find them and you realize like, wow, no, they're not in that great a condition because even like older people that drive cars like that, that don't put a ton of mileage and you think would take care of them. They're also the people that don't really pay attention or they're just kind of like, you know, you know how some old people are driving. Like some people just are not good drivers. They're not very aware and they back into things. They sideswipe things like there's all kinds of situations I've seen like that where a car looks like it's so promising, but then you see it in person, you're like, wow, really? I'd have to replace almost every panel on this damn car for it to look good, you know what I mean? And 
The other thing I'm thinking to do too, though, like with my Lexus, is go to car shows and then have a for sale sign it for sale sign on it at car shows. Like if I do that, I feel like that's the best way I'd be able to sell the car too. But there's still that part of me that would love to just customize the IS300 and make it literally, you know, my IS300. Make it look beautiful, which it definitely would. I mean, you guys saw the picture just now, my black one. And honestly, I feel like my taste has changed and gotten a lot better since that one. Like, I mean, that thing's beautiful, but the wheels on it, I feel like some people might not like. I still love them because it matches with, like, the chrome, you know, lettering for, like, IS300 and the Lexus logos on the car. But um, they're not, you know, they're not Enkies. They're not BBS. They're not, like, those kind of wheels, so. The other thing is, too, though, like, I don't drive like I used to. I told you guys I used to drive really fast all the time. Like, I'm so gentle on my cars these days, and I just really focus on taking care of them and making sure they last as long as possible. So I don't really beat on them too much. Like, you know, sure, obviously I go fast sometimes. Like, you know, I rip off a red light pretty quick, or I'll just be on the highway and just, you know, no one's around straight away. Like, do a 60 to 100 pull. I mean, that's what everybody does that's in the cars and loves driving, but... You know, I don't, I don't drive aggressively and rough like I used to, man. Like, I used to drive so fast all the time for no reason. I'd be splitting traffic on the highway, you know, that kind of stuff, just weaving in and out. Like, it, it's fun to do that, but it's just, it's not worth it, man. You know, one ticket, if I lost my license, dude, like, I'd be, I'd be extremely miserable if I lost my license. Like, I, you guys have no idea how much I love just going out for a cruise and just, you know, late night summers or, you know, early morning kind of evening and spring and autumn like it's just so nice going for a crew it's so relaxing dude especially when you have a few buddies to go cruise around with and stuff like that harrison i do have nhl i don't have the newest ones but i still play like 10 you know i never even got to the stanley cup we stopped playing that but nhl 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 i think i have like i love those old games honestly i love them But, dude, too many people just, I don't know, they ruin IS-300s. I've seen some really not my taste, I guess we'll just say, IS-300s. I, I don't know, man. The cam, I don't understand, like, does anyone watching this really like camber? I, I'm not talking about a little bit of cam. I mean, like, like extreme camber. Like, to me, it just looks ugly. Like, I, I seriously, personally do not like extreme camber. I think it just looks really, really ugly. I, I don't know. I've never been a fan. Never been a fan. But, Harrison, not too often, but I have. I mean... I don't know, I just, I don't care to play that as much as, like, Forza games usually, but I get in my moments, and the NHL season is done now, so I kind of, <laughs> if I was going to be playing, it probably would have been during these playoffs, but I've just been too into a bunch of different Forza games lately, so. Very nice, though, Dietary, and welcome to the stream. I got a long way to go. Long way to go. I got, <laughs> it's funny, because when my black IS was getting the turbo kit installed, uh, I was in a Honda Civic rental car. <laughs> And that's the only speeding ticket I've gotten. The other tickets I got were just stupid bullcrap. Well, actually, I did get another speeding ticket in my black blob eye, the 05, the Impreza, the base one. But I wasn't even speeding. It was literally last day of February. I've definitely talked about this before, but the cop was literally just hitting his quota, dude. It was so stupid. I was out of state coming home. I was actually, I think, looking at a WRX at the time. And, dude, it, I was so annoyed. And it's annoying, too, because that ticket still, because it was like two and a half years ago, affects my insurance i had to pay 50 extra dollars for my new car on my insurance because of it and it's so frustrating because i was not even speeding like i literally was not even speeding the speed limit was 60 and i was going 65 with traffic the guy tried to tell me i was going 90 he was trying to tell me i was going i was like what and then the other thing was too he's rude with me dude he threw my stuff on the seat didn't even like look at me was on the opposite side i was like dude like what is your problem like i'm being nice to you i didn't like i'm just questioning like how you're telling me i'm going 90 i straight up told him i was not going 90 and i dude it was just it's frustrating and the other ticket was like me turning left on a yellow and the cop was at the other side of the intersection and the light turned red when i was in the intersection like stupid out of state again i fought that ticket and won by the way though um i didn't feel like going back for that speeding ticket to fight it but i should have the first one was when I was literally 16 or 17, and the cop called my parents and said that I handled it so nicely so that he was going to reduce it to minimum. Because I'm very respectful all the time. No matter how someone acts to me, I'm very respectful. Especially when it comes to cops and stuff like that. But, like, dude, that guy... I, 
Man. <laughs> man, oh man. I think that's it, though. I think I've only had three tickets. The speeding, the speeding, that stupid intersection one. I think that's it. I think those are the only three tickets I've gotten in my life. But I will say that I was going 75 on the 55, or I, was, I thought I was going 70, but regardless... Uh, that was my first, my actual only speeding ticket. Prior to that moment, though, I was literally going 100. <laughs> like, I was literally going 100, but we were coming up on a bend, so I slowed down. I got pretty lucky there. So I wasn't even complaining about that one. I really like the race layouts, though, in Horizon 2, too. These, I don't know, these are some solid races. Takes some getting used to, but they're fun, man. Like, all these races have been really fun. These road races, especially. I just can't get over the map. Look at this map, dude. I don't know how you guys voted for Horizon 3, to be honest, now, looking back at this map. Like, I still don't know this map like the back of my hand like any other game, but... This map, dude. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> On top of the open highways and everything, it's just gorgeous. And a map to me is like 50% of the game, dude. Wow, that was a terrible turn. A map to me is literally 50% of the game, dude. The map has to be good. It's like Call of Duty, dude. If the maps aren't good, the games are trash. I firmly believe that. And another victory. Another 20 points. <laughs> Toxic. I mean, everybody calls them highways around here. Motorway, highway, same thing, man. No reason to be particular about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. I I'm pretty sure those are the only tickets. I mean, in the last three years, that last speeding ticket is the only one I've gotten. Um, it's the only one that affected my insurance. Because after three years, they kind of get removed as long as you're good and don't have anything else happen. But I, I just can't believe that that was still even on the record. It was funny, too, because I had actually gotten a different insurance because I had to change my insurance before that one that I got. And the guy didn't even look into it or pull it up or anything like that. So it's kind of interesting. But I will be JJ. Don't worry. Right now, I'm trying to progress a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some progression done. I'm pr I should be really close, actually, to... Uh, I want to get those last perks so we can complete that part. All right, here's another question for you guys. Who's watching the NBA Finals tonight? <laughs> like one of you, probably, but... The Miami Heat against the Los Angeles Lakers. Who you got? You know, I think it's going to be a good series. I do think the Lakers are going to win, although I'd rather see Jimmy Butler win. Jimmy Butler and Andre Iguodala, two former Sixers, my team, you know. I wonder if I can cut across here. I don't know if it's a good idea to try this, but we're going to try it anyways. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You have arrived at your destination. I'm liking this game a little bit too much. A little bit too much. It's a shame that there's no auction house. I can't auction you guys any rare cards, although even if there was, I wouldn't have any of them. <laughs> I'd be the one asking you guys in this game. What up, Jenna? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, I truly do believe, though, that the Heat are not going to be able to keep up just, I don't know, Davis and LeBron, man. You saw what LeBron did, the clinch. Like, he just went off at the end. He's very capable still at his age. Dude, what are you going so slow for? Goodness gracious. Yo, get off me, bruh. The drive is like pin on to you in this game though. I will say it's one kind of annoying thing. Yeah, that bridge right there really reminded me of that one spot on Horizon 3 for some reason. 
Right by the water, like, by the original Horizon Festival. Yo, what is going on here? How come these guys seem like they're so good at... Uh, I shouldn't even be comparing drive guitars to what's happening to me, but... It just seems like I can't control my car in some of these sections very well. Oh god, I should definitely not be going into the gulf pits. <laughs> my car has no grip out here, though. My poor skyline, man. My poor skyline. Oh god. Oh god. Am I gonna be able to catch these guys? Like, damn. It's always a struggle to catch people on these races. I'm not even. Oh my god, he just flipped! You guys see that? Yo! <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious watching that. Alright, I gotta reel this guy in somehow. I gotta watch him, like, hit a fence or something. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna catch this guy, though. I'm not really good at catching guys in this game, it doesn't seem like. Yeah. He hit the fences. He hit the fences. Ah! Oh, damn it! <laughs> so close. So close. Okay, that's not too bad. That wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. You're telling me this Mazda MX-5 is doing that off-road though? Like, come on, dude. 52 points? No way. No way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I gotta say though, man, six years later, this game is fantastic. I'm actually really disappointed that I did not get this game at launch. And that I was playing Call of Duty, dude. Because this game is just too good for me to have missed in its prime. Way too good. I'm also really annoyed. Well, not, I don't know. It, it wouldn't be the same as it is now, but it just would have been cool if I would have started YouTube back during Horizon 1. Been there the entire time for Horizon. Not coming in late at Horizon 3. It would have been, would have been a little more special, I feel like, but nothing I can do now, you know what I mean? Too late. And I definitely wasn't who I am now back then, so <laughs> things would definitely not have been as fun, I'm sure, as they are now. And Harrison, I've had Horizon 3 and Horizon 4 both from the Ultimate Edition launch, which is a few days earlier than, like, the legit launch. So, yeah, I've had both of them okay, from literally focus. the very beginning. Doing great. Win this next one, I'm but I didn't get them, like, early. Like, I've never been connected, like, with Playground Games or, you know, Turn 10 or anything. Until now, I am, kind of, because I was on Forza Monthly and, and I have communicated with some of the people that work there and stuff. So, there is a chance i feel like that the next games that come out i'll be able to get like early you know what i'm saying i hope i feel like i deserve it at this point to be honest with you guys and i would love that too because i'd be like ah oh come on i did not hit that guy yeah that's some crap but i'd be able to like review the games early then you know what i'm saying like i could let you guys know like hey you know this is good this is bad or this is worse than horizon 4 this is better you know different things like that and you guys know i'll tell you exactly how it is and I really do hope that does happen, man. I never ha I never thought in a million years I'd, be I'd even have a chance at that. I never thought I'd be on a Forza Monthly, though, too. So, <laughs> who knows, you know? Who knows? Just got to hope for the best. Yo, get out of here, Mazda. I've had enough of you with your 52 points. <laughs> yeah, that was too cruel, though. That was way too cruel. <laughs> Damn, Stevio just got real angry real quick out of nowhere. <laughs> He's like, he's had it with the Mazda. He doesn't want to have him to worry about anymore. Yeah, that might have been one of the, like... <laughs> might have been one of the nastiest things I've ever done, though. Just put that Mazda right into the traffic car. And I love this Skyline. I don't remember if I built this or what, but this is... 
This thing feels great. It's fast. Handles good. It's a little bit slippery, I will say. It's got so much torque and everything, but... It feels really good overall. Definitely way better than that Subi that we were just driving. Oh my god, the poles are crazy in this game, dude. Jesus. Everything's ridiculous when you hit it. Look at that, the trash cans are OP too. We already talked about that though. You really gotta avoid stuff in this game. I mean, I don't, I like, it's more realistic and I don't mind it, but it's just like I'm not used to it. I'm really not used to it. What, are you talking about the skyline? What you mean, dude? These stock wheels are beautiful, honestly. I mean, sure, they could be nicer. Wait, what? How does... Who has 68 points still? Yo, that's bullcrap. I took out that. Maybe it wasn't the right one that I took out. <laughs> Damn, we're the champion again. Wow, nine more to the Horizon finale already? Ooh. Yo, we killing it out here. Of course it does, Dietary Not All the Horizons, even Horizon 1 does. Hey, I'll be online at some point here. At some point here, I want to do like one more championship series, I think, and then we'll probably head online. Actually, let me see real quick, too. I just want to see where I'm at in terms of perk skill points. was the last championship for this road trip when you're ready head back to the festival for the awards party yeah i mean horizon 2 is oh no i didn't mean to do that i think we should have enough now to finish off our perks right oh we got five points and oh well our skill multiplier can go to six we're gonna get that we still have one more we gotta get so i definitely want to try and get that done that's part of the uh ranking up there so we need two more but this game, man, is still really good. We might have to do, like, a weekly or monthly stream of this. Like, this is really fun. Um, all right. So, we got to head back here. Keep going on the road trip. I love to you do road trips in between. Just cruise around. That's what I love to do. <laughs> the skyline's so nice in this game. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. By the way, Z, any luck on finding me a code for, uh, Porsche expansion in Horizon 2. What's up, Rory? Welcome to the stream. Alright, where are we headed to next? Well, I guess we gotta head to that good old festival first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're on the wrong side of the highway. That's never good. Turn right. We'll say the one thing, and I've said this before, I remember it too, like when I play this game, it's just a little bit harder to tell when the shift in this game than it is in 3 and 4. You just have that tiny little red dot that tells you you're about to bounce off the rev limiter. Actually, I think it tells you that right when you hit the red line, so it doesn't really help you out too much. Hey, what's going on here? What's with these ones above these guys? Are they in my little road trip thing or something? Oh, 
Ooh, look at that Ferrari. Look at that Ferrari, though. Ooh, we got a Corvette. I'm sure Z's happy to see that one. Oh, look at that beautiful Ferrari. Driving God, didn't you see one of these on the road this morning or something? Oh, wait, a picture. We got to take a picture of this guy. Damn, he's quick. I thought I'd be able to catch him a lot quicker. Another thousand. How many cars are in this game, I wonder? It's got to be around 400, I'd imagine. Road trip complete. I love how there's like road trips in this. And now it's time to party before we head out for tomorrow's road trip. There's no destination runner up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nine more championships, boys. Oh, I was 10 or yesterday. Okay, gotcha. I know I saw that yesterday or today. And Z, I am playing on the good old Xbox One. Yeah, the Fast and Furious, I mean, the only reason I'd want that is for the. Uh... Wait, so what am I doing now? Hey, I want to start our road trip. I want to start your road trip. Yeah, I want to rank up my Forza. That's the only reason I'd want to do that. All right, now where are we going? Sisteron, Nice Messina, or Montalino? Or is that Montaino? Montaino? Is that Montaino? Like the double L thing? I don't know if I'd be right on that, but it's going by the Italian theme here. Maybe. Where should we go next? I feel like everybody has TE-37s. I've, I've heard people talk about that with the IS-300. Like, I don't know. They got to go something different, you know what I mean? All right, Montalino it is. Oh, we got to do one of these, though. Hmm. Can we pick whatever we want? I think we can, right? Do we go Horizon GT? I mean, I got plenty of money. We already did supercars a lot, like I said. Horizon sports cars. Hmm. Super GT. Let's see what we got. Ooh. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's use the SLR. What? A day one edition code that might include everything. You have to send me the deets on Discord, man. That sounds uh, too good to be true. The S oh, <laughs> the SLR. Oh, and I just hit into an F1. How dare I? How dare I? Look at the front end, dude. <laughs> wow, this thing's slippery. Jeez. This thing needs a nerf. This thing needs a retune. Hold on a second. Oh, I can't tune my car? Yo. Horizon 2. What do you mean I can't tune my car? Gotta get rid of some of that wheel spin. Oh god, I thought I could go up here. Dang damn it. 
Dang damn it. We could just do this. Recalculating route. In four hundred yards, turn left. Oh, the trees are so OP, man. <laughs> Damn, we can't even sideswipe off of them a little bit. Damn. Uh, definitely hamburger. Absolutely hamburger. It's a Super GT well, there goes the day one it's edition idea, huh? <laughs> You're a lucky guy to have a car for this one, but uh, <laughs> I guess you already know that. You're telling me I gotta drive this thing off road? What is this, Forza? That's not what I signed up for. Oh God. Oh god, we definitely gotta work on the tune then. Definitely gotta work on this tune then. Dude, come on in. How can I help? Oh, I'm here already, don't worry. Let's see if it works similar to the other game, you know? Feel like everything's just a little too stiff. Just a little too stiff. Damn. Yeah, the bump stiffness is wildly high. Damn. Alright. I don't even have the differential unlocked. Peace out, Harrison. Have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm, no. I don't see a hot dog as a sandwich. A hot dog is a unique thing. To me, a sandwich is like a piece of bread, cheese, meat, and then a piece of bread. Not just a piece of meat slabbed on one piece of bread, practically. That's how I see it. People might not agree with me, and that's totally okay, but that's how I see it. Are these... I can't, no, nah, these aren't the stock wheels, are they? I think I definitely, yeah, because I got like the front splitter on there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we need one more skill point to complete the perks. One more. All right, we're going to wrap up these final four events here. And then we'll play a little bit of online, but random junk, thank you for the support, man. Appreciate it. I'm curious to see how this is going to go with my rear wheel drive. But happy birthday, Joshua. Hope you've been having a good day. I don't know how this is going to go, though, man. <laughs> Gonna have to really take advantage of the road sections, I suppose. Here comes the tough parts.
I don't know why they do this to us in this game, though. Super GTs. Oh, that's a really short dirt section. Okay. That's like nothing. I'm okay with that. See that? That's okay. That's reasonable. Now I know we got plenty of asphalt to work with. I tried not hitting them, man, but sometimes the driver starters are just right there. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Oh man, I almost hit that pole. I'm pretty sure if I would have hit that pole, it would have dead stopped me if I remember correctly. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Especially on the third lap here. Oh, by the way, some other news I didn't get to tell you guys about. Microsoft finally emailed me about getting my new replacement controller. The problem is, though, I got to send in this broken one that I'm literally currently using. My only controller had to send it to them before they sent me my new one. So I'm going to have nothing. Oh, I'm going to have to get something, but, like, I'm a little bit annoyed. That's the route that I have to take for this. That means that I'm gonna have just a base controller, and I'm not gonna like the feel of a base controller. I don't think after using my good old Elite for so long. But Pyro, you are absolutely right, man. Not only is it classic, it's still freaking so good. This is such a good game. Like I've actually really enjoyed playing this today. We might have to stream this a little bit more often. It's been, <laughs> I like I said, I can't remember the last time we played this. I really can't. But I like this SLR, man. Ooh, we got a new wristband. That looks orange, too. Oh, you guys are going to say it looked red, right? Actually, probably was red. Definitely wasn't an Auburn Sky Pearl color. That's all I'll say. The detail in this game, though, seriously looks so good. Ooh, we got a wheel spin. Actually, getting that new wristband is good, too, because that's part of the Forza Hub ranking up. Oh, my God. I don't want that. Wait, we can spin again? How many spins do we got? Look at the classic wheel spins. Oh my goodness. Nah, that's enough. That's enough of these crappy spins. What's next? Alright, so we got street race, sprint race. Let's get the trail race done. The off-road race. This will be the crazy one for me. So I got to try my best to not do too horrible here. Got these three races to do. And, uh, sorry, coin, I must be missing them. If you send me messages while I'm, like, racing, you know, it's a little hard to... It's a little hard to read when I'm not looking at the comment section. Just throwing it out there. And actually, a last message, it looks like Streamlabs deleted for whatever reason. I, I did every time I stream, I remember, but then I... I always forget to just take Streamlabs off because we have moderators here. There's no reason to have Streamlabs anymore. Thank you. 
Yo, come on, dude. I'm trying to go around you clean. You gotta do that. You just had to do that, didn't you? You just had to. I gotta try and get ahead here early because you know at some point here we're gonna be hitting the off roads. Oh my goodness. I guess I'll do it the dirty way since we went this far. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these are okay. They actually have a lot of road racing to them. It's only gonna be a short section it looks like again, so. Ooh, SLR against SLR. Uh-oh, look at this straight. We got a chance to take a nice lead here, boys. Oh, damn, no, that, that SLR is right on me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the tough part. Oh, never mind. It was just a short little part. I'm sure there's got to be another section like that, though. Damn, I'm actually really liking this SLR, though. Those changes I made in the tuning have really made a good difference. Because the last time, man, this thing was just really, really slidey. As long as we don't miss the checkpoint, we'll be good to go. But you know Stevio, he loves to miss his checkpoints. Oh boy. Yo, this SLR is so nice though. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, that thing's awesome. That thing is awesome. All right, two more races, and then we will open this up to an open lobby, or we will make this an open lobby. Guys, can show off some of your long tenured cars for anyone that's played this game since launch. I'm still so upset that I didn't, man. I can only imagine what this would have been like six years ago to play this game, and it was brand new. With just how good it is even now, six years later, like. Damn, you guys must have been loving this at launch. All right, race number three. How many of you guys would like to see the SLR in Horizon 4? I think it would be a cool addition, man. I can't tell how badly rain affects you when you're driving. Of course, they just had to have a traffic car there, right? Made me have to hit into my opponent. Usually, I don't like to hit into my opponents, but uh, <laughs> earlier I got a little uh, feisty for sure. Oh, we just got an achievement. What is that for? 65 skill points. Awesome. That means we have officially unlocked every perk. Well, once I go to the skill section, but that will be an achievement. That'll be some gamer score and some rank up on the Forza Hub. Oh, I tried to dodge him, but didn't quite happen.
This race is a little bit tougher. It's very slick. Definitely feels a lot more slick. Heavy rains, windy roads, traffic always being thrown at me at the worst spots. Yeah, I love the finish too. I love the finishes. All right, one more event. And the beautiful SLR. How many of you guys plan on joining me for the online session? I feel like I feel like a lot of my channel again, like even going back to Horizon 3, people didn't have it and I'm sure there's a lot more people that don't even have Horizon 2, but Yeah, we've already been streaming over an hour and a half. Where does the time go, man? Where does the time go? Yeah, I love when it's sunny in this game, though. The map just looks so good. I'm gonna try my best to play clean this race. I don't want to hit into any Drivatars. You think that's possible? You think I can get first place without hitting a Drivatar? Uh, 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 uh! The clean racing challenge. Oh God, oh God, don't do it, please. <laughs> I'm gonna end up losing trying not to hit these guys. I'm not gonna have anywhere to pass them cleanly at least. Oh no, yeah, you son of a gun! <laughs> well there it goes. Now it doesn't matter. Stevio failed the challenge. Oh that sound, dude. It's definitely not as bad as shattering glass in Midnight Club LA, but damn. I gotta put the differential on this thing. This thing still can be a little feisty. I don't know how much power this thing makes. I mean, it's only S1 class, but I have no idea what my build setup is on it. I don't even know if this thing has race tires. I, I think it has to be race tires with the way this thing drives overall. It's really good, but I think I can definitely make it a little bit more grippy. Look at that front end, though. <laughs> oh, God. I <I'm laughs> just missed the finish line. I was very complacent. Damn, we destroyed that one. I wasn't expecting that in the SLR, to be honest with you. Damn, that's a beautiful car, though. Add it to the wish list, boys. Add it to the wish list. 
eight more. All right, so we got to buy that perk, and then we will make an online open lobby. Honestly, I think we're just going to cruise around. I don't even think we're going to race. I just want to go on the highways like JJ was talking about earlier. Let's just cruise around, show off our cars a little bit, have a good time. We'll do that for about 20, 30 minutes. And that is going to have to be the end, though, because I got some plans tonight for the good old finals game one. Catching up with a buddy that I haven't seen in a while, so definitely want to make sure I have time to get ready for that. But, um... I think we'll just do some pulls on the highway. Some good old pulls on the highway. All right, that's it for this championship. Regroup at the Montalino hub when you're ready, and we'll move on to the next leg of this road trip. I'll do this road trip real quick. Since down. it's close. Oh, we might as well spin. Let's see if we get anything good. Is there, is there anything like cool in these wheel spins that I should know about? So far, it just looks like legit cars that are in the game and then credits. I think we got to do quick, too, so we don't forget. Let's take care of our final perk here. Should give us an achievement, I'd imagine, unlocking all the perks. Or maybe that was the one we got already, actually. I guess that counts as the unlocking all the perks one. Whoa there, pal. This thing is too nice looking. Alright, so we will go to Messina next and let's see. Let's do one that we haven't done yet. Mm. Let's do Hot Hatch. Let's see what we got for Hot Hatch. Super Hot Hatch. Ooh, yeah, I'll take the Golfar. 2010 Golfar. Totally down for that. Then we don't have to spend any money either. We can just save up a ton. We can buy all the cool cars at one time. That'll be something I'd like to do. Oh, damn. A nine-mile cruise. All right, we're going to get this done, so next time we can just get right into racing when we stream. But then we'll open this to an open lobby. If you guys want to hop in here, just send me a message. Gamer tag is stevio2175. We're gonna take a shortcut. Just, just, oh, that's not a shortcut. That didn't help us at all. <laughs> what the hell happened to the freedom, man? Oh wait. See, everything happens for a reason. We found a bonus board. I found a good old bonus board. 59 out of 100. We still have a lot of bonus boards to get too. I think I have all the barn finds already. I could be wrong. You see, is there a section for that? Oh, you can't. Why can't you look at anything during these, man? What the hell? Yo, you know what's wild about that? I thought YouTube was bugging out too. Wait. <laughs> Yo, so I was wondering like how there hasn't been any new messages for so long. All of a sudden now they're just all flooding in. So wait, have you guys even been able to like? Have you guys been able to keep up with the stream? Like heard me this whole time and everything? Oof. <laughs> Yeah, literally all your messages from the past, like, I don't even know how long, just came flooding in. That is so weird. I was, I even reset my browser because I was like, it's so weird. There hasn't been a message in, like, so long. But now it, I think it's working. What have you guys been experiencing? I don't even know if you guys can talk in the chat at this point. Hopefully you guys have been hearing me talk this whole time. I mean, at least the stream didn't crash so far, right? <laughs> I don't even know what I missed. I probably missed some good stuff. It's another good-looking car, the Golfar. Look at those graphics, though, man. Like, look at the detail on the Golfar. That blue looks so good. Oh, man, this game looks too nice. Way too nice. I want to get back in my P1, though. I'm not going to lie with you guys. I want to get back in that P1. Yeah, I want to get the 918 in this game, though, too. I might have to find my way to that Porsche expansion pass. I'm 
Even though my goal far is like maxing out right now. Come on, you can't hit 150. There it is. I was gonna say, don't don't be stuck at 149. We're on the highways, though, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Look at these just long, straight, open highways that we got. Motorways, as the one man in the chat said. <laughs> Look at this. Horizon 3 doesn't have it quite as good as this. I love how the Veyron's like just kind of staying with me. Like that thing should be going 270 right now. Not staying with me at 170. Son, and then the Varon took somebody out too. That's with that little skip right there. I think the chat froze again, by the way, too, because I can't, I haven't seen a new message since the huge update of messages came in. Hopefully you guys have heard me and are going to know to send me messages at gamertag stevio2175 to hop in here very shortly. Because we are just about at our destination. And we're going to open this up for about 20 minutes. with YouTube today. And uh, Ryan, welcome back. I'm just going back and seeing some messages. Okay. <laughs> Ryan Chambers. Championship. And uh, faster than Mew, I don't know what you're talking about races. paying for answers. And with you behind the wheel, I'm sure this will be no exception. Choose an event to start the championship. And Nexus Star, you are correct. It's a shame that I didn't spend more time with this game when it came out. Oh, is it in the crew, too? I didn't realize that. The good old SLR. All right, well, I don't, I don't know what you guys are saying to me because nothing's coming through, but... We are going to open up, like I said. A nice little online lobby here, so hopefully you guys have sent me messages through. Hopefully it's working. <laughs> hopefully. We're going to switch back to my P1, though. Hey there. What's up? Hey. Hi. All right, where's my P1? Where is my P1? I love this car in this game. It's incredibly fun to drive. All right. This is so annoying how the chat's not working. All right. Do we have any messages to play? Recent captures. What did I capture? I didn't even mean to do that. 
I didn't even mean to do it. Apparently, I accidentally did a bunch because there's a lot there. All right, hold on. Let me. I should probably start the online session first, right? Online road trip? Is that what it is? Not nah, online free roam. Online free roam. Oh, the P1. All right, let me connect first. Let me connect first. Easy there, Steve. Easy there. How many people can we have in a party, I wonder? Welcome to Online Free Room. Oh, look, we got some friends in here. Damn, why do I have Yo S as my clan tag? I bet you I can't change that again, too. Well, here's my weird club in this game. The leader of your party is starting a race. Press X to join them. Club name, region, open to friends, a description I can't see, but yep, I can't change the tag. Dang, damn it. Dang, damn it. All right. Now let's invite everybody. Oh, infected. Yeah, I don't even think I ever played that kind of stuff in this. Damn, son. I should have done a private free roam, I guess, right? Maybe I should have done a private. But it's all good. It don't really matter. Let's figure out where those highways are at. Look, I mean, look at this, dude. You got the highway here, looping all the way out. Then you got the more high, like, honestly, look at this. The highway's here, too. Like, this entire stretch is highway, dude. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it in any of the other games. Nothing like it. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. So we're going to enter the highway here. Do a nice, legit cruise. If anyone else wants to get in, just send me a message. I'll keep checking that. Unfortunately, I can't really... Uh, I do like how they have it so you can see who's actually in your party, too. Oh, wait, I see messages. I see messages. <laughs> And Francisco, I'd love for the highways, too. What's up, Alex? Welcome to the stream. And unfortunately, Connor, but today's the six-year anniversary, so, you know. I had to come out here and play a little bit. I mean, hey, we found a lobby with, like, six or seven people in it, so it's not entirely dead. I understand why you can't change your clan tag, though. Yeah, I should just delete my club and then restart. Oh, those stupid bikes. <laughs> I wonder if you can delete the club and start it over, and then I can make a new one. Where's my cadet at? <laughs> Yeah, look at this P1, though. Oh, my goodness. It's just so beautiful. Oh, they don't have you marked. That's stupid. It doesn't show you as, like, orange or green or something to differentiate you from other people. I kind of don't like that.
Traffic's really going for me. I love this P1. Seriously, I enjoyed cruising with this thing so much. So, so much. Wait, where did I mark? Oh, okay. I marked right past it. I'll wait for you guys to catch up and get here. Let's see if we got any other messages. People don't want to get in. Oof! <laughs> no Horizon 2. Yeah, Horizon 2 does sound really good. And a Harrison, tomorrow's stream is at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be unlocking the RCF right at season changeover. But all right, I think that looks like is that is it. Damn, you guys actually know how to, like, park? Yeah, that R8 looks beautiful, by the way. I like that red. Look at this. We're actually parked next to each other. We didn't all crash. Yo, the Carrera. Yo, stop showing off your Porsche expansion. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, all right. Who are we missing? Barvac? Let's hurry up, Barvac. Carrera sounds pretty good, I'm sure, just like in the other game. Oh, God. I didn't take that turn good. <laughs> See if your Carrera can hang with the P1, though. Oh, God. I should not have said that. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> I saw you hit that traffic car. I saw you hit that traffic car. Oh, my God. Look at this. How can you vote for any other map than this? Oh, my God. Oh, the P1's too nice. Damn, I lost everybody? <laughs> Tell you what, though, we gotta retune these final gears in this thing. Huh. This thing literally puts a smile on my face driving this. Why is it so good? This thing is literally like OP in this game in terms of handling. I'm not even good at driving it either, I'm just getting used to it. My confidence with it is growing a lot, though. Like, I've been full throttle this whole time. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh! Alright, we gotta turn around anyways, though. We gotta... <laughs> we gotta get on the highway. Oh, it's just so nice looking, though. Alright. Now the other way. See, going the other way, though, that's where it's... That's where you really got the long highway. That whole entire stretch there. We're going to set a nice group route here because you guys already know. Actually, hold on. Now we'll just set the group route for over here. That way you guys all know. Rory has joined the club. But I actually want to see that. Can we... Join new club, quit club. I wonder if I can create a new club and make it Stevia. But see, I wouldn't be able to make it Stevia's car club again. And we could make it Stevia or the Pew Pew Crew or something, though, I'm sure. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> but I just want to make the clan tag Stevio. Hate all these other ones, but it looks like, again, the chat's not working. So I'm sorry, guys, if the chat's 
been so stupid, but oh my gosh, of course you bring out your 918. Of course you do. Oh god, a Hennessy, a traffic car, an R8. I mean, damn, we got a legit supercar lineup right here, dude. Like, this is nice. A Venom, an R8, a P1, a Carrera, and a 918. All right, boys, let's go. Let's move it. Let's move it. Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to hit into anybody, but at this point, at this point. Damn, he's ouchy. He's ouchy with that Venom. I bet you he's going to crash at some point, though. That Venom ain't easy to drive in this game. Unless it's all-wheel drive, I mean. Could be different, but I think doesn't handle like my P1. I bet you I'll reel him in around one of these high-speed corners. I bet you. I'm calling it. Look at this. I already am. <laughs> okay, bye! I had to keep left there for a second. Sorry, GPS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Carrera's reeling. Oh, look at that clean overtake, too. Oh, and right into the traffic car. <laughs> Doesn't have the handles. Doesn't have the handles, baby. Yeah, I could do this all day. Drive this P1 on this highway. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. We got, like, 10 miles of highway here, dude. I could do this literally all day. Especially those curves in the beginning there, man. It feels so good to drive around those. Will anybody catch Stevia before the end? Oh God. Oh God. Been full throttle this entire time. Have not let off one little bit. I might regret it around this next corner, but that's fine. Oh, damn, if the traffic car wasn't there. Yo, I would have went through that full throttle if it wasn't for that car. Damn, son, this P1's fun. I got to retune the gears a little bit to make them a little more... Uh, a little better acceleration, but, dude... <laughs> This thing is too much fun. Oh god, this is going to be a tricky one. No way. Damn, this thing's fun. Wow. <laughs> that is some good handling. For real, we'll drive too to not even give out at all. I win! <laughs> oh man. Who's in second? I'm gonna guess it's uh, the uh, Carrera, yep. <laughs> well played, Thundershark, well played. Who's gonna get the third spot though? Damn, they far back. Damn, they far back. Dietary not. The Audi R8 is number three. Uh-oh, the other two are real close. Look at them. They're both right next to each other. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and a quick overtake at the end. Barvac in the 918 and then the Hennessy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready for a cruise back the other way. Let's see who wins this time. Let Barvac get in line. Let the rain hopefully disappear. Yeah, I love this lineup. This is one of the coolest, like, lineups and one of the best cruises I think I've ever done. Like, where everybody's actually not hitting into each other. We're actually able to, like, line up, park next to each other, cruise. 
And I mean, come on, a P1, a Carrera, an R8, a Venom, and a 918. It's too good. Let's just cruise a little bit, though. Let's just cruise a little bit. No crazy high-speed stuff, just cruise. Started off with a nice cruise. And that that tree is just right there. Oh, Barvac's like, nah, I'm ouchy. I'm ouchy, though. Oh, oh geez, Barvac. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! Oh, Rory, Jesus. <laughs> All right, you want this? You want some of this P1? <laughs> yeah, I can't beat my horn though. One, two, three. <laughs> I tried to make that as fair as I possibly could. All right, all right, look at this, he's pulling with me. Yeah, I gotta say our acceleration's really similar. You should pull on me in seventh though. My seventh gear is really slow. Yeah, see, the Carrera already is. Oh, that was a lucky maneuver right there. That was a lucky maneuver right there. <laughs> All right, looks like the RA doesn't quite have the top end that I do. Let's see if the Carrera can stay in front of me this time, though. It's really going to come down to traffic, too, though. The traffic will affect things. And those poles really nerf your acceleration. Jeesh. Jeesh. The group routes are just as annoying in this game, too, though. I don't think the Carrera has, like, the same turning ability in this game, though. It's fast, for sure, in the straights, but... It seems like the corners, like, even if he doesn't crash or if he doesn't, like, hit into anything, I'm, like, maintaining more speed than he is through corners. I guess I got more lateral Gs. Let's see if I can catch him at the end here. We got all those bends coming up. I forgot to mark the group route. Dang, damn it. Dang, damn it. Uh-oh. 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 Ah! Damn, come on, bro. <laughs> damn, son. Once we get to the end of the highway here, I'll definitely check too if anyone else wants to get in. Uh oh, he's coming back. He's trying. He's not giving up. Too late though, man. We done. We at the end of the highway already. I don't think it's ever safe to do so on a highway like this. I don't want to turn around, dang damn it! Wow. Yeah, you know it's wild? So some of you guys know that my left analog stick is drifting in my controller. And like, I'm trying to get that new one and I gotta send this one in and all that good stuff. My right stick, or no, I'm sorry, not my right stick, my right trigger is starting to stick. Like, literally right now, I'm just starting to feel it sticking. Just a little tiny bit, but, like, it's noticeable. Like, when I hold in the, I'm holding in the gas here so much. Man, what is going on with these controllers, dude? Wow, yeah, now it's starting it. Actually, wait, you should be able to hear it. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but it's literally starting to like hold in a little bit and then kind of stick a little bit upon release. Redonculus, man. Redonculus. It can't even handle me hitting the gas pedal in a game. <laughs> be at the stream tomorrow, B-Square. That's right. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You better be there. Let's unlock that Lexus RCF. You guys better be. All right. We're going to end this off just on a nice, simple little cruise. A nice, simple little cruise. Just gentle. Like, let's keep it under 100, okay? 
Let's keep it under 100. Who are we missing? Where's Barvac at? We gotta keep it under 100. I'm gonna set the destination again. We're gonna cruise the other end of the highway. And we're gonna get off, though. And we're gonna go to... The Horizon Festival here. That's where we're gonna end today. Oh, wait. I didn't set it as a group route. Make sure I set that as a group route. There we go. Now we know where we're going. Keep it under a hundro. A hundro. <laughs> a hundo. Oh, I just went over a hundred. All right, let's make it like 120. <laughs> let's make it like 120. Let's see if we can keep formation here until we get to the Horizon Festival. I don't think I've ever accomplished this with anybody before. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to move it to 150 now. It's hard to... It's actually really... I didn't think it'd be so hard to stay under 100, but... In this P1, man... Let's just have this wing keep flapping around. How am I doing that? Uh, once you hit 140, it looks like it moves. Or 135. 135, maybe. Damn, look at that shine right now. We both look like we're chrome. <laughs> look at the lighting right now. That is beautiful. Yo, hold up. I gotta take a picture of this. I gotta take a picture of this. That looks gorgeous out there. Oh. Turn around when oh. It is safe to do so. Hold on. We gotta get a nice shot. We gotta get a nice shot of this. Oh, geez. You keep moving? Damn, I didn't realize you keep moving. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there. Why do you keep moving? That's stupid. Yeah, we look too golden and crispy right now. They look like some nice McNuggets. I want to get into photo mode real quick. Oh, can you not do... Wait, what? You can't do photo mode? Or is there something I'm missing? Yo, I, of course the chat's not working. That's not going to help. Yo, can you not really not do photo mode? There's no other way to do it. No. There's got to be. Wow. I'm a little disappointed. You can't do photo mode when you're online? This is insanity. Bruh. Damn, son. I'm a little disappointed, not gonna lie. Alright, Horizon promo. I'm just curious, where are we at? Like, how many total cars are there? Uh, doesn't tell you how many there are. No, there's definitely more than 340. I mean, I've taken a lot of pictures, but... Yeah, there's still a crap ton. Well, actually, no. Is that all that I haven't taken? It looks like just the ones at the end here are the ones I haven't taken. Well, is there only 350 in this game? That's really not bad if that's the case. Are all the rest of these taken? It looks like so. I don't even know. Whatever. Alright, well, the picture's not going to happen, unfortunately. It just looks so beautiful. Like, look at how good that looks right now, dude. I can't get over it. Like, the way that color is shining in this lighting is so good. All right, boys, start sending it. Full send it. I can't beat my horn, but. <laughs> there goes the venom.
Wow, I can't believe how broken YouTube chat is. I've never had this issue before in any of my streams, and I've streamed a quite a few times already, too. The connection in this honestly seems to be really good, too, though. Like, there's no lag at all, man. The online servers in this were good. And, of course, there's not many people playing these days, but still. And the Venom and the Carrera are right next to each other. I mean, I'm holding my distance, I feel like. That's all I can really try to do. Oh, jeez, I thought I was going to hit that car, maybe. And we all got out of there unscathed? I don't believe what I just saw. Oh no, the Venom just crashed. Oh no, we lost them! And there's only two that remain in the Need for Speed Big Showdown. <laughs> then the Carrera got dirty. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what happened, but... You guys remember the movie Need for Speed, I'm sure. The Sesto Elemento. And the Koenigsegg. Oh dang, damn it, that car got in my way. Uh-oh, we missed the route. Why would we get off this the same distance? Yo, the P1 is so nice. I pushed it so hard there, but damn. Damn, son. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew I was going to catch that. I tried so hard not to. <laughs> Look at this neat little shortcut I found. <laughs> Damn, Thunder still beat me. <laughs> it was close. It was close. Damn, what a beautiful game. Oh, damn, that's not the way to end. I thought it was going to be a nice, beautiful setup. Look, yo. How is there no photo mode, god damn it? <laughs> This is the perfect shot. Of course, all these messages are flooding in now. Look at this. Look at this. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate it, man. Online photo mode wasn't a thing. There wasn't that in Horizon 3 either. Wow. What's up, Caleb? And a uh, Saturn... Shh. Don't give away my idea. I haven't even told anybody about that yet. <laughs> I've been driving, God. I'm glad the quality has been good. What's up, Mahi? Okay, I, it's YouTube chat today, huh? Well, that wraps it up. Hopefully, we're going to see everybody here, yep. I mean, if nothing else, we should all line up here. Here, uh, Rory, come over next to me. Hold on. Nobody else move. Nobody else move. There we go. There we go. I can't... There's no drone mode in this either, huh? <laughs> Dang it. How are you supposed to take a group shot? You literally can't. Like, I could record this, I guess, on my... Well, you know what? Actually, here. Uh, Barvac and Rory, get next to the R8. And then I'll get on the right side, because then I can probably get a group shot on my capture card, at least. That's the only way this will work. I'll have to take it from the side, you know? A uh, ba ba Barvac? A uh, Barvac? <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. We got to take a nice shot to celebrate the six years, you know what I'm saying? Got to take a nice shot. All right, Bar Barvac, move forward just a little bit. And turn your damage off, by the way, too. <laughs> yeah, Barvac, turn your damage off, man. We got to have a nice clean 918 out here. I don't even know if it'll change if you switch your setting, but... This will be the best way that I can take this picture, I guess. Unfortunately. Hold on a second. Can I... Let me see. This this will help the shot a little bit. Uh, HUD. Let's get the map off. 
By the way, we should turn the map off when we... Uh, well, actually, never mind. I can't talk about that right now. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, names over cars. That's fine. Speedometer. Can we just turn that off? Yeah, sweet. I never actually did this before. Where you turn, like, everything off. So now that should clear up our screen a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. We got pretty much everybody's name in there. Well, I mean, you guys are all at the top anyways, but... And also, one last thing. One last thing. Let me just get the group route off of there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. All right, perfect. Let me let me just real quick. Uh, okay. So here's the deal. Don't none of you four that are in the stream don't move. But I actually can't record this the way I have this set up right now. But I'm gonna go on my capture card right when I end the stream. And I'm gonna take a quick shot because I definitely wanna have this shot to celebrate the six years. This is pretty cool. Um. But, wow. I gotta say, man, Horizon 2 is still a great game. This is still a great game. And, yeah, Adrian's definitely a fast, accelerating car. That's for sure. That is for sure. But, Alex, dude, I don't even know if I saw your message. What's up, dude? <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> dude, the, the chat's not working. Like, the chat stopped working. Like, nothing's going through here, so I don't even know. But, uh, I'm gonna take a shot. This exact shot right here. Right when we're, uh, done this stream, which I'm gonna wrap up here in a few seconds. But, guys, I wanna thank you so much for coming out. And supporting the Forza Horizon 2 six year anniversary stream. I gotta say, man, even though the chat didn't work, this game is it's still great. It is still a great game. Um, I definitely want to get this 100% completion. I'm gonna hop on here a few times in the future to continue progressing. I want to get that Forza Hub all uh, completed and ranked up and everything. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry the chat didn't work. It was pretty crappy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like to see this again. Make sure you vote in my community tab because I was surprised Horizon 3, you guys think. Is a better map than two but i think two might be the best just because of what we just saw there the highway so much fun just doing cruises like that but i'm gonna head out guys we got the nba finals tonight getting together with a few friends hopefully you guys are tuning in for that too and video toy guy just to answer your message uh yes i am playing this on xbox one they did have an xbox one version but peace out guys thank you so much again for tuning in have a fantastic day and i will see you tomorrow morning series 27 autumn we are going to take a look at the Autumn Festival, the Autumn, well, yeah, the Autumn Festival playlist, but the Forza-thon shop, and most importantly, we are going to unlock the Lexus RCF in Forza Horizon 4. I'm very excited, guys, but I'm out of here. We will see you tomorrow. Peace, and remember, guys, stay here. We got to take that picture then, but I'm out, guys. Later.